Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Pool Club. On this episode, I have a treat for you. The time has finally come. This is my review of the Simon Snow series by Rainbow Rowell. The series is made of, of three books, Carry On, Wayward Sun, and Any Way the Wind Blows. If you think the titles, then you are my kind of Paul. Uh, as I said on my previous video about Fangirl, I was sucked into this universe by my best friend. So if you like a universe where the chosen one actually falls in love with this evil roommate, then this series is for you. And also if you like magic. So in the first book, Carry On, Simon kind of realizes that he is the worst chosen one to ever exist. His one doesn't work most of the time, and when it works, it sets uh, things on fire. His mentor, the mage, is avoiding him. His girlfriend, Agatha, breaks up with him. And there is a mag magic-eating monster, the humdrum, on Woods. Bass, his roommate, that might be evil, but is actually a vampire, doesn't show up on their first day um, of their last year at Watford School of Magics. So, of course, Simon needs to figure out what is happening with him. So, he enlists his best friend, Penelope, to help him. They're like the three musketeers, but like as a duo, they always go on adventures together. So, in this first book, we have a ghost, a love story that you probably realized between whom character, the, which characters, and we have a mystery. We, uh, we learn of the Magus' plans uh, for Simon and see him fight his way through a destiny that he considers that was chosen for him, not by him. So, without spoiling anyone, I just want to leave, give a little summary of what happens, um, the main storylines in the next two books. In Wayward Sun, um, Simon looks a little lost, he, he finally won the war, but he doesn't feel like himself anymore, he looks a little depressed, so he ends up in a vintage convertible with Penny and Bez on a road trip across America to help save Agatha. In this book we learn a little more about magic and how it works in a different continent, but also a lot more about some creatures like dragons and vampires. Um, so, and also, along the way, they make an unlikely friend, which will have a bigger role on the last book. And then finally, on Any Way the Wind Blows, the whole gang is back in England and back at Watford. Uh, they are back with their families and start dealing with what is happening in the world of magics. Um, a lot of theories, a lot of imposters trying to be the new chosen one. Uh, a lot of cults appear, so there are a lot of emotions going on, and it feels like an epic ending to their adventure. Although, I don't know if it will really be the ending, for real, because the last book left a little some loose ends, and I wonder if the author did that on purpose, uh, with the intention to maybe in a few years write another book or from the point of view of one of the other characters, so that will be interesting to know in the future. Um, as you might have realized by now, I really liked this series. Uh, I was so excited when I learned that there was a third book coming this year. I just think the author used a previously seen concept really well. Um, we have a chosen one when in a world where magic is a thing, and she, uh, the author, gave it a whole different meaning, a different direction. Uh, I really liked um, to learn how magic works in this series. Um, it works through the power of the spoken word. Uh, it's basically limited to a crowded place or region, and it made the books really interesting and a lot of times funny because they used. Uh, lyrics from music, uh, expressions from movies or popular ones um, to make magic. And it really was super cool to, to, to see them do magic through it. And of course, the amazing characters. Um, sure, we have the usual villains, but then we have the, vil the hero that usually, that actually 
loses his power, trying to save the world, and becomes insecure and a little depressed. Uh, the boyfriend who is a vampire, but an emotional mess that will be there for you every step of the way. The best friend who learns through the journey that she loves trouble, uh, and she will do a lot of criminal uh, cr crimes to help her friends. And of course, the ex-girlfriend that tries to give up magic, but just finds a whole new passion uh, you, by using it. So the whole storyline was a little sad at points with Simon's and Baz's story, but it was also deeply sweet and soft. Their connection, I really liked how their connection grew, grew through the books and their relationship. It was really, really cool to see them finding common ground and understanding each other and their pasts. It was really nice to, to have it. And as a little teaser for the third book, there are a lot of sweet moments between them. So it was really nice. I also liked how the important issues were discussed between the characters and not covered up like the trauma Simon suffered as a child, but also at the end of his mentor. Um, how Baz had to deal with being different, uh, of a different species, and also dealing with his mother's death. Um, but also there was a lot of diversity um, in the books. It was really refreshing also to see uh, these two strong female characters like Penelope and Agatha. We know they aren't the main focus of the story, but they are there and they are there ju not just for to be pretty. No, they are there because they have to find their own paths and to fight. It was really, really so cool to have them. Um, and for me, it's just a nice series and it's very worth to read. It's very funny and emotional, uh, which I think it's always a good combination. And uh, the author created an amazing flow. It was really well developed, the story, the details that start in the first book. And then in, on the last book, you you have those those uh, those loose hands tied. So I... I just enjoy it. It's it's so lovely. So what do you think about the books? As always, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Rita's Book Club for more content. And just a quick thank you for all your support. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Happy readings.